Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to try the new House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I know this is not the best lighting, especially to do a foundation video, but it's been raining for like two days and it's super gloomy and awful out. And I really want to get this video up so that, I don't know, it's relevant because this is already maybe old news to some of you, but House Labs by Lady Gaga did release a foundation. And I was really excited about this and I knew like as soon as I saw the promo photos, I was going to pick it up because it just sounded like something I would really like. Um, yeah, so the only thing is I don't know about my shade. I got the shade 160 because it was described as light neutral. I'm not sure if it's a bit deep for me, but we'll have to just see and I don't know. Because actually I didn't think this was coming into stores and I thought, so I thought it was online only. If I would have known, I would have waited to see it in the store. But anyway, this is the packaging and it is very luxurious. It, everyone's comparing this to like the La Mer foundation. I don't own that, but I see what they mean because it's like a nice thick glass bottle. It's very heavy. Yeah, it just looks like a really nice product. Um, this is the cap. It has a little slant here and an H for House Labs. You can't really see it because it's so reflective. I thought when I first saw this that this was like you would push it and it'd be like a flip top and I was like, oh, that's gonna be super messy. But it's actually just a decoration. It's a pump underneath and I really like that. This actually reminds me a lot of my Makeup Forever water blend. Who remembers this? So yeah, I mean, not really, but <laughs> it's just the glass bottle and the frostedness, I suppose. But anyway, um, yeah, so right on the back, it says shake well before use and not much else is written on the bottle itself, but on this box, it says house tech powered with bioferment seven complex and intellizen seven complex. I don't know what that means. <laughs> A clean cutting edge long wear foundation that delivers superior makeup performance without compromising your skin. Infused with 20 plus skincare ingredients, buildable medium coverage, luminous second skin finish, ultra fluid weightless formula. How to use shake well, blend onto clean moisturized skin using the House Labs foundation brush or fingertips. I didn't get the brush. I didn't really like how it looked, but it might be good. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to use today my video Lumi Layer Primer Fresh because I know how this performs um, and I have super dry skin if you're new here. I need something to give moisture to my skin. Although from the reviews that I've seen already, this is probably gonna give me a lot of like moisture because it looked very radiant and dewy on everybody. But yeah, I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna go in with two pumps. This is already an illuminating primer, so we'll see what happens. I did already also have skincare and everything that I did earlier, so I should be good. I thought I would do half with a sponge and half with a brush because I don't know which one I'll prefer. So I'm gonna shake it well, like it said. And I'm, okay. I guess we'll start on this side with the sponge. So I'm just pumping it directly on. Oh dear, that looks kind of, actually might be good. It is very liquidy, like it said. Okay, <laughs> let's just, Go for it. Oh, okay. 
this actually might be a really good match. So right off the bat, this is extremely dewy. <laughs> because I know like I just said, I just put an illuminating primer on. But with other foundations that I use this primer with, it, they kind of covered the luminosity, but this is like adding to it, but that is fine with me because I like to look dewy and hydrated. Oh god, what's in my eye? Okay, I just flicked some dust particle into my eye, so <laughs> it's probably gonna get all red. Of course, every time I film, something happens to my eye and makes me look crazy. Anyway, okay, I already think I like this. It's looking really nice and smooth. Okay, let's try with the brush. Although, I don't really feel like it because I would probably use this with a sponge since it's a medium coverage and with a brush it's probably gonna make it even more like medium to full so i'm doing an extra pump and this is the rare beauty foundation brush Yeah, so I think with the brush, like, I can see some brush strokes, but that's, like, normal for when you apply foundation with a brush. That's what happens. So I'd probably go over it with a sponge anyway. And I have to say, it is, it is a medium, medium to full coverage for me, I would say. Because it even covered, like, all the blemishes on my chin. The only thing I'll say off the bat is I feel like this might have the potential to start looking heavy on my skin the longer I wear it. So I'm gonna check in later um, after I had this on for a few hours to let you know. But so far it's looking pretty good. I actually think I need more for my forehead. But I'm not even going to do like a full pump. Just like that much. Because I, I think it absorbs like pretty... Well, like it said, it does have skincare infused. So I think like the skincare part of it is getting absorbed into my dry skin. Let me try and get some better lighting here. I don't think it's gonna happen though. Maybe if I take this off. I don't know if that helps at all. So I definitely feel like I want to go over this side with the sponge. So in the future, I would use this with a sponge just to make it more one with the skin. Okay, so I thought that shade was going to be too deep for me, but dare I say, it is like a perfect match. <laughs> Maybe a little light, but I wouldn't have went up because then you're not in the neutral undertones anymore. It's kind of complicated. Um, oh, and I did forget to mention, I used the shade finder on the Sephora app. But it told me to get um, 140 and it, that was described as like light warm or something and I was like, no, no, I am not getting a warm foundation. I think I do have like a really neutral undertone so if ever I use something too warm or too cool, 
I feel like it's very obvious on me personally. So I'm glad I didn't listen to the shade finder. <laughs> But anyway, this is how it's looking. I think you can see even in this terrible lighting that there is like a radiance to this and like the light reflects off of it. So I like this look. And this is definitely medium coverage and I th think you could even build it up to full if you wanted to, but it would probably start to look kind of heavy if you did that. So I don't know. And I definitely prefer the side that I did the sponge, although this side looks fine now too because I went over it with the sponge. But yeah, I think this looks great so far. It does feel like a little tacky, so we'll see how it dries down. But it's not really transferring much onto my fingers either. So I will check back in later um, and keep you posted on how this wears. And I'll do the rest of my makeup, even though it's like getting dark out. <laughs> oh, and of course I forgot to mention, uh, when I picked up this foundation, I also got another of their lip oils because I loved the one that I tried in my house labs video, which I will link below. But I wanted like a more wearable shade because I got the like super pink one and I didn't realize these are like pH adjusting. So it became like even more pink after. So I got the orange one called secondary. So I'll actually put that on now too. So we can see if you were curious about the different shades of these because I feel like they actually are different because usually lip oils are just kind of sheer. But I love the applicator of these. And it just feels like really nice on the lips. So that's what that one looks like. Actually looks, still has like a pinkness to it even though it's the orange one, but whatever. This is the PhD Hybrid Lip Oil in Secondary. And I already knew I liked it. I just wanted to try a different shade, so. Yeah, that's everything. I will check back in later. Just wanted to check in after I did the rest of my makeup. It's been only about an hour. Um, but this is what it looks like with everything else on top. I did cream, bronzer, and blush, and I sprayed my Half Magic Beauty Duloc setting spray. So this is how it's looking. I'm really happy with the shade. I think it's a great match for me, and I really like how it looks. Um, let's just zoom in, and maybe you can see. <laughs> how dewy my face is. I did think it looked a bit heavy around my mouth here. If you can see that. Um, Cause I do have some like dryness on my chin and around my nose cause I've been blowing my nose a lot cause of my allergies. So that's like normal, but I did just want to show you that like here. But that's like my dry skin, so. Overall, I think it looks pretty good. So I will check back in later. Obviously the sun's going down, but I think if I check in in my bathroom, it could be good lighting. So yeah, I will let you know how this wears. Because this foundation does claim to be, I think a 12 hour wear. It didn't say that on the box, but I believe I saw that on Sephora. So yeah, I obviously won't <laughs> have a chance to wear this for 12 hours, but at least until like I go to bed before I take off my makeup, we can see how it wore. Okay, so it is 
Um, so it's been on for a little over six hours, which I know is not like a full day of wear for most people, but I have to wash my face. <laughs> um, so this is how it's looking. These are obviously the marks from my glasses, but um, just ignore that. Let's see if we can get closer. Um, I think it looks okay. <laughs> uh, I did like eat and everything like and I wasn't paying attention like I touched my face and I didn't touch up at all. Like I didn't put powder or anything because I really wanted to see how this would look on its own. I think it's really like it stayed dewy the whole time. Um, as you can see here, like it is like grabbing onto like some dry patches I have and especially my nose looks really bad. <clears throat> but I don't think that's the fault of the foundation. I just have really dry skin, so. Um, but yeah, I think overall it looks, I mean, it looks kind of bad in <laughs> this lighting. But if we look at the actual skin, it looks pretty good, right? Um, you can see like my redness came through a bit. So I don't know if I would say this is a 12 hour foundation. Cause it, like I said, it's only been not even seven hours. So I think if you have oily skin, you would definitely need to, ch to touch up, probably use powder. Um, yeah. But I want to try this again with a different primer because I feel like that VDL primer, although I like how it like gives me a glow, I sometimes find it accentuates my pores. And I wonder if I would have tried this with like a more smoothing primer, if it would look better. But yeah, I think I need a second impression of this one before I can like really recommend it. Cause I didn't say in my intro, but it's actually quite expensive. I mean, the packaging is really nice and it's, you know, a clean beauty brand at Sephora. I'm just looking up the price because I forgot. $59 Canadian for this foundation. But again, it does have like supposedly really good ingredients and skincare benefits. So I don't know. It's up to you if that fits your budget for foundation. But yeah, I will keep you guys posted on this when I try it again. But I mean, I don't not like it. I just think maybe it's not my favorite. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> that's my uh, first impressions on the House Labs. What was this even called again? Triclone Skin Tech Medium Coverage Foundation with Fermented Arnica. <laughs> so I hope you guys like this video. Oh, and this is my bathroom, by the way. It's very old and we need to renovate it. But um, yeah, so like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.